Hello and welcome to the Watchman on the Wall channel. This prophetic word comes from Rhema Trainer, Atlanta, Georgia. Important prayer points. For those who don't know what to pray today, here's some points. For the communication of the enemy to be confused and intercepted in the airwaves. For the shalom of God to be released over all cities today. For every believer of Jesus to be led and directed by the Spirit on where they go and don't go for today. For the confession and declaration of the church to be in line with what God is saying. For the plans of evil people to be exposed and uprooted. For mass confusion to strike the enemies of God. For the terror of God to come upon those bent on evil. For awakening over the body of Christ and every believer to take their place of authority as watchmen who stand in the gate of their city and nation. For an increase of angelic visitation and Christ encounters among the Muslim world, specifically among those bent on evil, radical salvations among the most evil among them. For the peace and protection of Israel, for the mass salvation of the Jewish people, for comfort and protection for all vulnerable people caught in the midst of war. Friend, what excellent prayer points we can be praying today. Will you join with me in prayer? Lord Jesus, we lift up these excellent prayer points from our dear sister Rama. Lord, we thank you that when we don't know what to, pr- to pray, Lord, that we can look to this list. While not comprehensive, it gives us a start. Lord, we pray for peace in our world. We pray, Father, that you would do a mighty work, that people would be turned to salvation in Christ, a loving salvation in Jesus Christ, Father, because of what they see, as it feels as though the entire world is on fire right now, Lord. We we commit to these prayer points today, Lord, that, Lord Jesus, you would do a mighty work, that we would declare and decree your will be done, Father, on earth as it is in heaven. And, Lord Jesus, that we, as the mighty remnant, would push back on the darkness, would make way for the Holy Spirit to move with radical signs and wonders. We thank you, Jesus, that we are living in these days. Lord, may we not drop the ball, but may we continue to move forward in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen.